Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm on a mission to improve the health of my heart. The little neighbor girls are outside playing. I love their laughs. Their little giggles are just the cutest thing ever. Outside with my tea and editing today's video. This is Friday night. Their giggles are the best. <laughs> Happy Saturday morning. I've got <clears throat> this is the last of the pre made chia seeds that I made throughout this week at different times. Um, this one I can tell has some milk because you can tell it's kind of white it's got some white but it's a mixture of the one that i made in the crock pot with water and the one i made with milk so let's see i heated it up in the microwave i wanted to do them warm again i put a little like a half pump of my hazelnut stuff uh. so i went to walmart and i picked up some of this to take to work and the reason why is then that way if I take dry seeds with me, again, I can just have hazelnut at work to use. Along with those, I'm also going to have three eggs, just three fried eggs. Has anybody ever tried meal prepping fried eggs? Like, how does that work? I wonder, can you make a bunch of fried eggs and put them in your refrigerator and nuke them when you get to work? Is that a thing? Well... I know, ooh, that needs salt. I know that I can take um, uncooked eggs, you know, straight eggs, and just cook them, you know, cook them in the microwave. So I guess that'd be more like what I would do. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, eggs and my chia pudding is my breakfast. So today I've been to Walmart, picked up that. Hazelnut. Oh, one of you all said, hang on, let me get them. One of you guys said I needed some sliced pepperoncinis instead of the sliced banana peppers. So I got some. We'll see what we think. We'll try those on my salad. And then I had to get my salad fixing. Um, oh, it's over there. Jicama, rutabaga, cabbage, onions, and tomatoes. Oh, and peppers. I got those. There's just a little bit. Not like a great big haul or anything. Um, so I did that. Oh. A friend of mine wanted me to pick up some hair products from the beauty supply. Well, I've been a little bit occupied with my, you know, in the head with my heart. So I haven't ran by and done that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they have enough because I'm going to go buy I don't think they open until 9, 8 or 9, so I'll try that. Mm. Got, hang on, let me get my list so I can just tell you what we're doing today. <clears throat> okay, we're crock pot and beef and chicken, making salads. I have a load of laundry in. I gotta have to have, I'm going to have a few loads of laundry today. Um, I got a pack for mom's for tomorrow because she's cooking. She's cooking a pork loin and salad and and a bunch of things so I'm gonna take my barbecue sauce my salad dressing and some butter buds um, cuz she's gonna make a sweet potato and then what else um, do I have today Walmart already done beauty supply and I want to do I I'm, I'm out of almost out of my supper vegetables so we got to look at our frozen veggies because I didn't want to buy more I didn't want to buy more veggies I have a freezer full of them so hang on you know I gotta get the last bite um, I got a freezer full of like the bagged frozen veggies that I bought you know from frozen from Walmart so it's time I start using them I need to clean up some space in my freezer so, um, 
So anyway, so I'll be piddling with that. So those are some videos that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks, but I don't know when um I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, that's it. So I'm gonna finish this pudding. And then uh mm, kinda looking at macros and stuff. Um well I'm not gonna make any decisions till I talk to the nutritionist. But I might, I might. After the yogurt and cottage cheese is done, I might switch that back to burgers, but I don't know. You know, you know, you can't eat the same thing all the time forever. It gets boring. And my fat has been in the 40s and 50s. So, you know, if it goes up to like 60s and 70s, I'll be okay with that. Anyway, so that's what I know, and you're in the loop, and I'll see you at lunchtime. Bye! We're out. We are out walking, guys. It's Saturday. Got Lou, and Sammy, and Baxter, and Callie. <coughs> we're doing our trek. And we're doing our walk. We're almost to the apartments now. It is lunchtime, and <coughs> I have this wonderful meat sitting over here cooling down, ground beef. So I went ahead and took some of that. Um, and made my taco salad with that. Mm -hmm. Trying those pepperoncinis you told me about. Sliced ones. Let me try a bite with one of those. Mm. That's good. It's, you're right. It's not the same taste as banana peppers. I thought they were the same thing. I just don't know much about stuff, but that's the tastes like those things that you get when you get a pizza and they come with a pepper on top. I think that's what those things are. Anyway, so it's big old It's a bass. It's a taco bass. A big A word salad. Only only Southwestern style. So I seasoned it up and I put all the usual usual things in it. That's how it looks. So I have that. Long my apple. So I'm gonna let you go. Cause I'm gonna take a few bites, fold laundry. Take a few bites and take care of laundry. So anyway, alright, bye. See you at supper. Y'all. It has been a day. A day, I'm telling you. It has been a day. I don't even know if I have the card around, but I think I got everything done. Now I just got to get the videos done. My vegetables. What all did I use? I used the, the zucchini squash blend, some carrots, some broccoli, um, the edamame, and some rutabaga. And I just made a vegetable, mixed vegetables out of it. I cooked it in chicken broth, but then I'm like, strain out the broth because I don't like broth. So that's my vegetables. Now then, listen, I am not trying, oh, that's hot. I am not tracking today. I just can't track today. I have... I made deviled eggs because I had to experiment. I wanted to give it a trial run. And so I made deviled eggs. And I, of course, you know I ate one. Like a half. And then I did my ground beef and I did my chicken. I did my salads. My that, Those mixed vegetables. I made up some onions and peppers. And like one of you all told me, I put it in a large gallon Ziploc bag and I'm laying it flat. So I can do like you said and just break off what I want. You said you do that with gravy, but I could do that with that. Ow. Well, this mess, this big old hodgepodge right here. I had some onions and peppers left over from the week. But I didn't want them to go bad. So I sauteed those up. And then I added in the chick, a serving of chicken. And then I put in some... Oh, I put in a handful of jicama. 
I was torn, okay, do I want Southwestern, do I want what? So I was kind of, it's, it's a big old, it's a big United Colors of Benetton. It's, I say that, if you were my age, you know, that the, that was like a very, um, it was very, I don't want to say controversial, but it was a very all-inclusive of all the different nationalities. Like their commercials were. So they would have somebody white, black, um, you know, uh, somebody maybe Hispanic, maybe somebody from who knows where. But you could tell that they were all from different places. So uh, that's just always my reference is United Colors of Benetton because it was such a culturally inclusive commercial. So anyway, um, yeah, so so I anyway, so so yeah, so along with the onions and peppers and chicken, I've got some of those pepper pepperoncinis. I have some Tuscan season, some Greek seasoning, some smoked sea salt, some uh, G. Hughes teriyaki, some G. Hughes general so, and I think some liquid aminos. I mean, you name it, it's in here, and I it, it, it's, go, it's good. I know it's good, but I'm going to burn myself, so hold on. Yup. Now, I should not eat the other vegetables because this is really a lot right here. But I pulled them out because I wanted to eat them. So that's what I'm having for my supper. And then, and then I got me not as full, not as full as usual fruit. So anyway, it's been a day. I think everything's done. Now it's just a matter of pilfering through the videos and pulling out the clips and all that good stuff. So, all right, well, you have a good day. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. I'm going to go see my mama. I'm taking them boiled eggs or them deviled eggs to see my mama. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to see my mama tomorrow. Bye.